What are you hearing about the possibility of a bubble format in the NFL? Well, I, I can tell you this. Voices of skepticism there about uh, the season and the way it will move forward. I've spoken to executives with teams and within the league, and I get no sense that they're looking or planning for the possibility of this quote unquote bubble format. You know, I, I, we can point out that the NBA and perhaps Major League Baseball to some capacity uh, could pull that off, but we're talking about NFL rosters of 32 rosters with 53 active players, and that doesn't include the practice squad, of course. What I can tell you is the contingency plans in place do include potentially expanding practice squad rosters um, to as many as six more players, perhaps, uh, this year, and, and which would mean that if you do have a player that tests positive for COVID, you can isolate him and bring up another player. The Bucks have been discussing a very interesting scenario of actually taking a, a quarterback and putting him in quarantine, not even having him train with the team, so that if your quarterbacks wind up getting COVID or have to be quarantined because of contact with COVID, that you'll have somebody to use. So we're talking about a situation where contingency plans are being discussed, none of which, however, uh, describe potentially what Dr. Fauci is describing in having a bubble situation. Yeah, some very interesting contingency, contingency plans nonetheless. Mike, what are your thoughts on a bubble model in the NFL? Well, we're going to need some aspects of that because the facilities just aren't big enough. When we go to training camp, ordinarily we have 90 players on the roster and we couldn't social distance six inches. We have to double up. Oftentimes it's the rookies. So I'm hearing a lot of chatter when we talk to teams about going from 90 to maybe 80 players for training camp, maybe going from four to two games in terms of preseason. And then, Ryan, one of the interesting things that I've heard is teams are thinking about alternating maybe <coughs> offense and defense where – Maybe half the squad's in the building, the other half may still have virtual meetings just because these facilities can't accommodate the expanded rosters. And I even heard one team make an interesting point about they're going to actually practice losing a single caller. So if it's an offensive coordinator or a defensive coordinator who, unfortunately, during the season, let's say, gets COVID, what's the backup plan? So there's a lot of contingencies that teams are going to have to work through <coughs> during training camp. You know, Ryan Clark, I'm interested in this part of it as well. As a player, let's say you're getting ready for the season, you hear Dr. Fauci's comments, you hear Jeff and Mike talk about the limitations and the, the, the idea right now is maybe not a bubble format in the NFL. What's going through your mind as a player? Well, if you're a player, you're trying to understand how the season is going to take place. And obviously, what happens if it doesn't? These are This is your livelihood. This is the way you provide for your family. But for many of these guys, this, this is their passion and their dream. But when you hear what Dr. Fauci says, even listening to Sean McVay, and he's laughing and he made a joke about it. But think about that. We're going to social distance, but we are going to play football. Listen, my son's in college now, and I've spoken to their coaches, and one of their coaches told me, I'm telling the guys, you have to give up a year of life away from football if you want this season to take place. And I think that's what it's going to be for many of these NFL players. What's hard is the, the, the roster numbers, also the amount of time it takes for an NBA season. Obviously, the Major League Baseball season is going to be cut down. The NBA is just coming back for a small section of the season they have to play. When we're looking at football here, we're talking about 16 to 17 regular season weeks and then playoffs and Super Bowls. That's an extremely long time to try to put professional athletes and adults in the bubble. It's going to be extremely interesting to see how they move forward. And listening to Jeff talk about contingency plans, that contingency plan sounds like to me they're saying somebody's going to get it. So we just need more people around when they do. You know, it sounds like a tough situation. We had a similar thing in the NBA where guys were reluctant to be away from their families during this time to be in that kind of bubble. I wonder how NFL players would feel about a situation like that. So, Mike, let me ask you a couple seconds left. Are you concerned that the game itself inherently presents a significant risk to possibly co a coronavirus exposure? Yeah, and Ryan, I think at the end of the day, we have to understand some players are going to get it. We have to take all reasonable precautions we can. The whole idea of keeping a quarterback in quarantine, we're going to have to do a couple of things mechanically as a sport to make this work and take reasonable precautions. And unfortunately, some people will probably get it. That's just the in inevitability of what we're dealing with. But at the end of the day, if Commissioner Goodell says that the pros outweigh the cons and the NFLPA is on board, Hopefully we'll have a season and there'll be a lot of good that comes from it. But I, I will say this, 
I know the NFL feels they're really lucky because they're going to learn a lot from MLB, NHL, and obviously the NBA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have some very good examples to follow. We'll see how that plays out. Guys, thank you so much. We'll come back to you later mm -hmm. in the show. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.